Hello everybody, this is Dan Studinovich from HypeFree.com and I'm super excited today on this webinar. I have uh, a gentleman from uh, United Kingdom, uh, Great Britain, uh, Joe Evans is his name from JoeFizz.com and the cool thing is he's been uh, doing in the trenches the stuff that he's going to be teaching today and that is basically how to build products that basically going to help you build up your list and really build up a relationship with it and the cool thing is He's not a big guru, you know, that, you know, goes out there and fancy schmancy sizzle, but he's actually in the trenches with the tools, you know, pounding through this, figuring it out, just like I'm doing, just like you are doing. And I love these type of webinars because this is where we learn the most. Uh, a lot of times when the big multi-million dollar gurus, a lot of times they hide the nitty gritty and a lot of the tips. And this is going to be really content driven. He's going to tell us uh, all the stuff that he's dealing with and, you know, get a pen and pencil ready because I know we're going to learn a lot. I, I, most of the stuff that I've learned throughout all these years is from uh, webinars and live events just like this one that you're attending. So that being said, I don't want to take any more time of his. Uh, Joe, are you on the line? I am. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? I'm excellent. Well, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy life to share, you know, your experiences. And, you know, I'm sure you'll share some things that didn't work and a lot of things that do work uh, so we all can learn. But before we started, would you mind uh, telling everybody um, who's investing their time in this webinar, tell a little bit about your background and how you got into Internet marketing and then I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, I, in fact, I've got a slide on that. So do you want me to come okay, to that? Okay, yeah. Why, why don't you kick it off? Yeah. Uh, you're the star. Okay, okay, everybody. Hey, thank you, Dan. I appreciate you uh, uh, allowing me the opportunity to speak with uh, your subscribers. So a special welcome to Dan and his uh, his guys for joining me here today. Uh, I've really got, as Dan says, I've really got a treat for you. Um, turn off every other interference that could pop up. Uh, you know, take your seat. If you've got a pen and paper handy, and if you're sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. Excellent. Okay, but first, though, I just want to thank you, Dan. I do appreciate uh, you uh, allowing me an opportunity to speak with your subscribers, and I'm sure that there will be some real benefit here. Okay, uh, let's begin with the introduction. I'm based in the UK, as you can tell with my uh, accent. Uh, I'm actually from Wales, uh, not England, so uh, uh, not to be confused, but you wouldn't tell that with my accent. But I'm a father of uh, three beautiful girls. Uh, you know, would you buy a car uh, from this guy? And uh, the answer is yes, of course you would, Dan. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you look like an honest guy. So actually, I I, I got good. to know you quite good, and I uh, I've, I've become a pretty good judge of character, and th that's the reason I always talk to the experts that I interview. And I've been burned a few times, but I know you're the real deal, and this is why I like this. Is why I invited you to that we could do these uh, trainings because I know you're the real deal, and and yeah, like, yeah. How can you go wrong with that smiley face? So. <laughs> <laughs> with that smiley face. Well, I hope so. Okay. Well, you know. As I said, my my sad background uh, is is in finance, which uh, really couldn't be in more contrast with internet marketing. Um, I was in banking uh, in the UK for eleven years, uh, and I have been funding assets for business uh, for the last fourteen. This it's actually my twenty fifth anniversary of work this year. You can't see the grey hairs in the picture, but trust me, they are there. Um, my early life was very rich dad, poor dad, uh, in that it was head down, get my qualifications uh, you know, for a job for life uh, with a large corporation which brought a pension. And you know, I've got to say I nearly did that. Uh, I went on a skiing holiday, I read uh, rich dad, poor dad uh, on the plane on the way back um, and thought, well the light bulb came on, that's all I can say, so, and the rest is history. So. Yeah, I've been online for the past uh, two and a half years. Uh, I believe I've been mentored by the best in the business, uh, which has laid uh, a good foundation for me to learn from. And I do believe that foundations are very important in whatever uh, a business you go into. I um, I run two membership sites in the internet marketing arena. Uh, one is a, a newbie site. Uh, it really is uh, join the dots. Uh, type of format um, and also I offer strategic direction and coaching uh, through an inner circle uh, membership 
uh, to people who are uh, intermediaries and uh, you know people who are really experienced. Um, something you probably don't know about me, I have published a book in Amazon, uh, which is in the parenting arena. Uh, I have oh, crumbs. I think I've got nine ebooks in Kindle. Uh, I've also uh, made an app uh, for sale in the Apple Store, which I did last year in time for the Rugby World Cup. So I've pretty much had my uh, feet dipped in many pools, and I've got to say I've absolutely loved every one of them. So it's been a good foundation for me uh, for the last two and a half years to try and work out uh, where I wanted to go. It's, it's without doubt that during recent times uh, we've experienced the biggest recession ever in Western economies and particularly in America and also in Britain, you know, we've entered a second recession which is called a double dip. Um, you know, there's been some real uh, uncertainties uh, and real hardship in, in every direction but as far as uh, internet marketing uh, is concerned, um, there's been some trouble there, you know, opening rates have plummeted, uh, new entrants are flooding into the market as people think that it's easy money, so competition uh, has hotted up. And, you know, these points could lead to concern, but, you know, despite this, my list, and thus my income, uh, has continued to grow. And I firmly believe that if you have the right mindset and are doing the right things, then success will follow with that key skill called perseverance. Confucius, who was a Chinese philosopher and reformer, 551 BC to 479 BC, said, it does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you do not stop. So, even when you think you can't, you can. You just keep going. It's a key skill, and that's one of the things that I teach uh, my students. Um, I've mentioned that I have two membership sites with paid monthly subscriptions. Uh, that means coaching people to be successful online. I spend quite a bit of time in forums helping people as well and one of the most popular question is how do I build a product? Where do I start? And hence the reason uh, for this webinar. Um, finally, uh, I want you to hang on until the end because I've got a gift for you for attending this webinar. Um, there's a, a free download to a productivity planner uh, which you can have. Okay, here we go. Right, I've already uh, mentioned that my number one question is how do I create a product? Okay, in addition to that, when I look back at when I started out, I had no idea what a product was, I had no idea where to get one. Uh, when, when I eventually knew what a product was, you know, where were the places to go and get them? You know, were there any important tips and strategies I should know to make one when I got to the level that I, I knew what I was doing? Okay, so, and, and, and really after uh, sort of walking in the dark for a, a long time, you know, after I realized the importance of this method after six months or so, I recognized that I was completely lacking any products to capture that all essential email address. And that was a big dough moment. Before I get into the meaty bit, I just want to highlight two options that you have. You can either make your own or you can use other people's products. At this current time, I am a changed man because I initially preferred my own. And, and you might ask why? Well, you can control the quality of the product. You can keep 100% of the sale price. And if you build a list of your own affiliates, you can offer that product for sale, i.e. they sell your stuff. Okay? You essentially start building a library of products, if you like, if you're using your own products. And many streams make a river. And if you, if you use that analogy in money, lots of little sources of cash flow will build you a bigger income. However, I just want to plant a, succeed, a seed for quick success because there are some things within the internet marketing arena that you can fast track. 
and listen up on the next page because that's where I'll be sharing that little secret. Okay, if you're happy with that, we'll move forward to the areas for attack. Okay, I'm going to give you some options to get you started immediately, but I want you to open your mind to these areas. Okay, pick a subject to target and take immediate action. Okay, the point number one is existing stuff. As far as I'm concerned, uh, this is a common fault with internet marketers. In an attempt to build an empire and earn money quickly, they overlook things they already have in their possession. So, things like articles or reports or previous YouTube videos, okay, they've done them and got them and left them in the to-do to -do pile. So, take stock of what you've already got. Could something that you've got be repackaged and offered as an honest bribe? For example, 20 articles, okay, on list building could be put together and offered as an ebook. Okay, so just think outside the box a little bit. An ebook is one of the easiest things you can do. I usually spend just over a weekend writing mine and then a day or so getting it edited and tidied up. I have learned to use a professional editor because despite the number of times that you read things and you think that you've read it properly, you do miss errors. So I do recommend uh, that you use a professional proofreader and you can find those on fiverr.com uh, and, and for I, um, I, know, I just wanted to interject um, in second what you said you know is 100% uh, correct my very first one also it took me four days about eight hours a day um, yeah. yeah so that's how I got started too it was the exact same thing you're you're teaching here thank you cool cool yeah no worries that's fine okay um, yeah so basically tidy it up um, and then I, I, I use the same guy in Fiverr to do, to do my cover for me uh, and he's brilliant because for five dollars I get the front cover and I also get the Kindle version okay so I'll explain that in a second but what I essentially do when I've got uh, got it to a, a, a place where it's, it's now in a PDF format what I then do is that I upload it to kindle.com okay now I do this first and the only reason I do this first is that once I've got it into Kindle I can enroll it in a scheme called KDP Select and KDP Select okay is like a library facility whereby Kindle will loan your book instead of selling it uh, you know if somebody doesn't want to buy it they only want to loan it for a, a day they will basically allow them to loan it now they provide a pool of money they, they obviously see it from our point of view so what they do is they provide a pool of money and that money has been growing since uh, last year and this month for example for every lend through KDP Select you get $2.06 uh, uh, per lend now that isn't a great deal of money but do you know what when you uh, add it on to what you're uh, selling in Kindle normally it does become uh, something that you look for so you must put it into Kindle first okay because Kindle want the rights to your book and there's something within the contracts that says that they want to have uh, rights to your book so what I tend to do and I've learned this the hard way because I used to put it on my blog site first but put it into Kindle first wait the 24 hours to get it approved and what I then do is that I put that ebook okay uh, into my blog site and the resources you need okay and depending on the work involved I either sell it or give it away as a freebie okay but I do it in this order in my view is I think about Kindle usage is about 50 50 um, so you know that that's a means is a good market for Kindle but on the other side of the coin there is a good market uh, for people wanting to have uh, your ebook, so if you put it on your blog site, then that is a good opportunity um, to get it uh, out into the big wide world. But if you're starting out, I recommend that you give everything away. 
okay? Uh, and I mean that, uh, you need to give everything away in return for growing your list. Your goal in the early days should be to grow your list. Okay, build the foundations first and then go for the money later. The next thing that I do, uh, not always, but quite often, is enter the book as a WSO, which is a Warrior Special Offer. Now I've put uh, books into the uh, WSO at 50 cents. I think the most expensive book I put in there was $4.48. Now a WSO, it's, uh, please forgive me if I'm uh, teaching uh, a granny to suck eggs, but it's a Warrior Special Offer and it's basically the people within the Warrior Forum uh, because they're members there, they have the opportunity to have member offers at a significantly reduced price. So you offer them a, an amazing deal, uh, you know, and it's called a Warrior Special Offer. So I put mine in there, sometimes as a free product, sometimes with an upsell. It just depends uh, on how much work I've got on uh, and, you know, what I've got in mind for it strategic-wise. So uh, putting in as a WSO, um, you know, not not forgetting that you, you know you have sold an ebook for fifty cents. Um, you know, you still get twenty signups for it, uh, and it's taken me you know a couple of hours to to sort it out. So it's definitely worth uh, the extra work in doing that. Well, you um, uh, you just got me motivated because yeah. uh, I got I got to get that. That's my next project, and I think just by listening to that part got me motivated because I'm on the. I love the Warrior Forum, but. I uh, haven't yeah. uh, gotten my list from the WSO, so that's. I guess I'm committing okay. here to do that next. Thank you, Joe. Oh yes, you, yeah, yeah, Dan. It's good. It's a good place. I get a lot of stuff from the Warrior Forum. Okay, um, yeah, and finally, sometimes I haven't spent too much time in ClickBank, but I have got I don't know three, four, maybe five products in ClickBank. And um, so if, if you've got. Um, you know, a little bit more time, then you could put it into ClickBank and people can sell it on your behalf. Okay, but, you know, in, in summary, uh, I just want you to look back and see that there are four available outlets for just one ebook. Okay, so go do it basically. Okay, uh, I mentioned on the previous slide, you may have gleaned that I'm a control freak. Uh, I don't do what I did. Uh, I've, I've initially refused to use other people's uh, stuff. Uh, and if there are any other control freaks on the webinar, uh, then you should listen up big time. You know, I'm a proper control freak. You know, I just like things just so. I, unfortunately, because I used to work in a bank, things had to be right first time because it cost them money or it hurt their reputation. And, and that was the way I was built. Now, if I'm completely honest, that's one of the reasons why I left, uh, you know, that type of industry is that you weren't allowed to make uh, mistakes. And do you know what? Half of life is about making mistakes that you learn. Okay. And I, particularly, I've got three children. You know, I wrote a book about raising children. One of the things is that you allow them to take safe risks so that they can learn for next time when they get to adulthood as, as people who are experienced. Now, you can't do that in that type of industry. But what I was going to say to you, this is the fastest and easiest way to get a product. My only advice, okay, is to choose what you get carefully. And then, if necessary, and I do, I rewrite it with my style. Okay? There's absolutely loads of PLR available. You can have it paid, it can be free. You know, some of it is absolute rubbish uh, and some of it's really quite good. But it gives you some ideas what PLR can be used for. I mean, you can use it as a free gift so that you mail out to your list, you know, on a, you, you know once a month. Uh, you know, here is your uh, monthly free gift for being part of the family. You can use it as a bonus for an offer. Okay, but just be aware that it must be of value to the receiver. Okay, uh, you can use it for an upsell, you can use it for a downsell. Uh, it, you know, if it's low in value, you can use it for a bucket offer. A uh, bucket offer is where you put it together with other ebooks, okay, and make a, a sort of a low offer. Um, and finally, down the road, PLR can be a good way to use content in a membership site. And what that basically means is that you can drip in uh, regular content into the members area. 
and, and really with PLR, the world is your oyster. Hence why uh, loads of people uh, are in that uh, arena. But if you want a quick product or are relaxed about quality, then you know a couple of places to go to would be uh, the Warrior Forum again. Uh, search the WSO section uh, for a PLR product. Um, there's several there. Uh, you, you just have a look at the reviews and stuff, and and, and obviously the price. Uh, and but you know you can also go to sites I use PLR monthly. Um, but essentially, you can put your name on a product, and if necessary, get it out within a couple of hours. Okay, so there's no excuse really. Uh, you need to get uh, your name on a product and you need to give it away as soon as possible uh, to build a list. Now, my advice to you is to use things, as with everything in life, you know, use it in balance. If you're going to put all PLR stuff out, then, you know, and, and some people do do that, um, they, do, they generally don't care about the reputation, but if you do care about your reputation, then have it in balance and, and also even then rewrite it because you want to have your style uh, and you want to have um, you know your sort of sway on it. Okay, th that is PLR. Uh, they don't fear uh, copying other people's products. Internet marketing is built upon copying people's stuff. And if you if you don't believe me, uh, listen to a guy called Frank Kern, because Frank Kern will tell you uh, that he copied everybody's stuff, and and that could be a sales letter. Uh, you know, it could be uh, a sign-up form, it could be a product, but he does give full acknowledgement uh, to that, which kind of makes it okay uh, in that he's honest uh, to admit that. But don't blatantly rip people's stuff off, okay? But if you are interested interested in that, take something original and improve it. Um, you know, one example I got for you was a guy uh, who I used to follow, I don't anymore, uh, but who copied uh, an iPhone app almost entirely and sold it successfully on Apple. So, you know, there are uh, things out there. If you feel you can make it better, uh, you know, take a look around, see what you like, uh, think if it's missing an element, and then just have a go, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, you'll, you'll learn some valuable lessons. Okay, this is a gold mine, your hard drive. One of the first marketers I met uh, said he could share loads of stuff he had never opened. He basically downloaded loads of stuff just in case he would need it. Do you all remember the information overload stage? I certainly do. And the rabbit holes, you know, being stuck down the rabbit holes, oh my word. I've got to say, Dan, my experience of other marketers is exactly the same. I don't know about you. What do you find? Oh, yeah, I have. I, I, without exaggeration, I have probably two terabytes of stuff. You know, when I watch it, I download it. I have uh, courses. I've spent uh, a fortune, you know, buying Dan Kennedy, Yannick Silver. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, thousands yeah. of dollars. All that is on my hard drives. So if mm. it, whenever I need inspiration, I just go through them. So you're a hundred percent correct. There's there's a fortune almost on yeah. everybody's computer if they just want to use it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There you are. You've hit the nail on the on the on the head. And I've got to say, you know, do you know what Dan is quite funny. Most people are really delighted that they've got this information tucked away on their hard drive. But you know, that's that's the key. You need to spend uh, time. And I I I always I've got a phrase called one day. So take one day and go through your hard drive, A, tidying it up so you know what's there essentially, but identifying in priority order which ones you're going to use. Now, there is a uh, disclaimer uh, note that I've raised here, uh, and that is do not dismiss reports because they are dated. Some points in marketing will remain pertinent forever. Okay, and finally, if you're okay with using PLR, then you will have an oasis in your hard drive. On your hard drive, I am absolutely uh, sure of this. So, take one day, uh, go through and pick out uh, the important ones, or even your favourite topics, or even current hot topics. I bet you there'll be something that on there that you could use uh, as your own product. Okay, and get it, put it through as a cover. Uh, and out with your name on it. 
Okay, videos. I love this subject and I could talk about this one point all night. This is a very, very good area. I remember making my first video. It was, it was horrible. You know, uh, I used a horrible camera, horrible light, uh, nervous, you know, all of those things and it was just rubbish. I cringe, uh, but I've got to say, you know, from those rubbish videos, it did help build a community uh, in YouTube. And guess what? The more I did it, the easier it got, the better it looked, and I certainly got some success uh, from it. So let's talk about YouTube first of all. Uh, we all know it's the second largest search engine in the world, uh, which is, of course, owned by Google. You know, YouTube can be a good SEO strategy too. Because once you've done the video, uh, you can get the ability to index the title. Okay, um, you can build a community of friends uh, and get subscribers. So viewings are almost guaranteed. I've used a, t a software in the past called TubeToolbox.com. It is a free element to it, but the best bit is a paid uh, uh, site, which isn't a great deal of money, but what you can do with tubetoolbox.com is search for people in the same niche as you and you leave your PC on overnight to, to search for say 500 people and once you've, you've found 500 people you take the uh, uh, propensity to get in touch with them and ask them to be your friends now it does uh, all of the sexy uh, work for you in that you know Google doesn't like uh, sorry uh, YouTube doesn't like you uh, having mechanical stuff uh, to do stuff on YouTube, it 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 doesn't like you getting um, machinery involved. So what uh, Tube Toolbox does is that it sends a a request to uh, a subscriber um, that you've identified, uh, and then it waits sixty seconds before sending the next one because what what Google, uh, YouTube thinks is that that's the amount of time it takes for somebody to send. A friendship message okay now with the free element uh, I seem to remember you are restricted on the number of searches you can do uh, and maybe even the number of people that you can get in contact with um, I seem to remember it was about if you wanted to go for the extra amount it was about nine dollars ninety five per month and and what I did is I upgraded it as and when I wanted to find new friends in uh, in YouTube and it did work very well. And then when I found those friends, I, I obviously downscaled uh, again. So I would recommend um, that you use that software. <clears throat> Excuse me. In addition, I made a video for my Inner Circle members about 18 months ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I now use uh, for signups on Google. Uh, on sorry, on, on JoeFizz.com. Now that video is about Google keywords. Um, and it, you know, it's just one of those things that I found in my hard drive that people have been looking at, and I haven't really used it. Uh, so you know, I've ramped this area up myself because you've got to think about these things as products. And if people want to have knowledge on Google keywords, for example, then they'll give you their name and email address. And one of the things I'm working on at the moment is sometimes in the forums, uh, people want to know what internet marketing is, then. You know, I've got a, a five-minute video on the steps uh, in internet marketing, uh, or you know, the internet marketing toolbox, and that is really that I send to people so that they know uh, what's involved in internet marketing. But it doesn't take anything; it would take two seconds, in fact, to put uh, an AWeber code on that, uh, so that I get people uh, to sign up for it. So, video videos really do have the opportunity to pull in subscribers. Now that was Google, that was uh, Google's YouTube. I want to talk about wider video viewings. Okay, I've previously used uh, in the past a sexy product called Traffic Geyser. And Traffic Geyser is a ninety-nine dollar uh, product, but it, that's a lot of money. But when you know what uh, Traffic Geyser can do for you, it basically uh, you create uh, a, a video on something and then you blast it out to the social media market. You'll get your, your video put onto like 
uh, you know, 15 or 20 video sites and, and an article put onto 40 article sites. Okay, so you do have the opportunity to get people to point back to your blog, okay, because that's what your blog does. It sits below, uh, you know, your social media uh, strategy. So it sort of catch, catches everybody that comes, uh, you know, after you, you put something out into the social media world. It's there to catch people uh, who come and visit. So I would really recommend, uh, if you do have the money, to look into Traffic Geyser. I think they're doing like a dollar offer at the moment for the first 15 days. Uh, and again, you can come and go as you please on that one. Um, I really did like that one. Uh, and, you know, I'm pleased to say as well, uh, Facebook eventually uh, got its act together. Of course, with it being the most visited site on earth, uh, you want to put videos on there. And I think it was about six, six or eight months ago that they they started doing videos properly, but before that it was really quite hard to put things on there. It, it, they just didn't have the software, I guess, but, but now they do. Uh, so, you know, I just want to underpin that video is even more important as the web moves mobile and becomes interactive. Okay, videos are already a bigger part of Google search engine, uh, engine results, you know, as Google learns to index uh, video content. Video accounts for 50% of all online traffic as of January 2012. And not only do videos boost your company's visibility, but they promote engagement. And that is the key. If you're building uh, you know, a social media strategy, it's all about engagement. Customers exposed to videos are 437% more likely to engage your brand. Okay. Customers exposed to videos are 437% more likely to engage your brand because they see you, know, like, and trust. Okay, last but not least, remember, or maybe you don't know this, but Google now has the technology to transcribe each video. And that means if you are clever, then you can get even more SEO benefit. Okay, so there's really nothing there to keep you back. Just get just get to, to do it. Okay, do you want a nice surprise? Webinars are a fantastic way to grow your list. They're a bit fiddly at first, okay, but they're not insurmountable. But guess what? They actually convert at 40%. I've got to say, I'm lucky. Uh, you know, my customer list, I really get, I, I probably get about a 40% uh, read rate from my email uh, uh, blasts and probably a 10% click through rate and you know I am lucky uh, you know some people get only get 1% so when you look at the 40% uh, you know that seems to pull my eyebrows up and I become very interested so I've been doing webinars for probably uh, four months or so four or five months now and I'm really pleased with how it's going I, in fact you know, Dan and I were talking before this that, you know, just got to crank this, uh, the webinar side up because not only is it enjoyable and you get to meet nice people uh, like Dan, but it's a good way to grow your income uh, for your business. And I'll, I'll add, um, so I, uh, Joe, just one thing, since I've done yeah. a bunch of them too, um, the, the yeah. other huge benefit besides your list is um, you, you know, you, uh, uh, you surround yourself with successful people. And that's in, in yeah, positive people. Uh, most of the people I met on yeah. the webinars, they were all very positive people. And so you, I get motivated doing, this is why I, I keep, every month I do a webinar. Yeah. So I, I just love it. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it shows. It shows. I could say it absolutely shows it. And it's wonderful. It, you know, I can't think, you know, most people in the internet marketing arena, you know, they're stuck behind the desk. So they may as well do some learning whilst they're there. And if you can do that learning with good people, then that's a double whammy, yep. isn't it? Okay, so, hey, guys, I recommend that you go to, uh, you know, a user like GoToWebinar. Uh, there are others available uh, to sign up. You know, try try before you buy. Don't wait till you get to the, the 500 or the 1,000 subscriber mark. You know, get going on 10. Um, I would say to you, don't bullshit on the numbers because people will find you out. You know, be true and honest always. Hey, if, if, if anybody so, wants encouragement, I had zero people on my list when I did my yeah. first webinar. I had to promote it by, uh, you know, going to forums and stuff. <laughs> so, 
I started yeah. with literally no yeah. list, but I I, uh, I heard in a seminar, the guy talked about web and I said, well, let me try it. I had nobody to promote to, mm. but you know, I got a few people to show up and I was excited. Uh, off to the races. That's cool. I mean, my first webinar done, I think I had about seven people on the line, uh, and but I put it on to Facebook. Uh, I think I got 14 on the first day. Yeah, it's great. That was more than so, I got. <laughs> you know, yeah, and it's lovely. It's lovely because you think, you know, wow, because, you know, things happen when you're sleeping. That's the other thing. It's great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, listen, guys, if you haven't got a product right now, then, you know, I recommend that you go to the Warrior Forum and go to the, the WSO section, okay, buy a product or, you know, if you go to Warrior Plus, um, you can uh, become an affiliate and, and, and choose to run, uh, you, you know, to sell other people's product. But basically, become an affiliate for a product there or even through ClickBank and run a webinar on it, In, you know, that way... Uh, if people come and listen to you, you get uh, sign-ups for your list. And if actually, if you make any sales, uh, then you know you'll get fifty percent of the income. So it's a it's a win-win it's for everybody. And you know, finally, don't forget to record the webinar because that actually creates a product in itself. You know, and as I've already already said, post the recording on webinar. It's just one example. You can post them loads of places. You know, the social media ether is growing every day. Uh, but make sure make sure that you've got a link to your autoresponder. Okay, voila. Okay, cool. Now, I just want to emphasise how important giving your stuff away is. Okay, number one, this is your number one goal in the early days. I set myself a target for sign up, you know, uh, each day. Um, and whatever that is, you know, I've doubled it. And you can do it. Yeah, I think I may have mentioned to you before, Dan, you know, if I haven't got my, my um, uh, subscribers by four o'clock UK time, then I get really busy, you know, in the Warrior Forum. Uh, trying to get people to come and get my stuff, and it works because you focus your mind, and and the law of attraction, uh, you know, the universe will help that, uh, will reward that fast action, I should say. And you know, with um, all the strategies you outline, once you put them, odds are that most of the time you don't have to do of it because you'll get them. Eventually, I get a lot of them passive, you know, because they may come from your Kindle, yeah. they might come from your recording, your video, and all that adds up. A lot yeah. of people think. You know, getting a couple of um, leads to opt into your list a day is not much, but add that to the end of the year, and you're talking some serious numbers. You are sort of talking serious numbers, and, and and what I find is that if you can do the passive uh, stuff, I I, I, I class the Facebook as passive. I've got a VA that does my uh, my postings for me on on Facebook, uh, and also my Hootsuite. So what I get there every day. Is my passive stuff so I expect the minimum of four from Facebook for example um, so anything else I generate on top of that like from the warrior forum uh, and you know that I think I in the, the most that I've generated in one day uh, from the warrior forum was about 38 so you know it it's it's a real it's a real growth okay and uh, I would really recommend uh, that you have uh, the targets in place uh, to do that. Okay, um, the money isn't in the list, okay, it's in the relationship with your list. You guys already know that. Frank Kern uh, said so and he ripped off uh, somebody else <laughs> saying that, he's admitted that. So build your list, okay, but try to add value to your subscribers. You know, you can do good things, you know, things like creating good content blog posts. Okay, and letting your list know about that blog post. Giving away, you know, free content on your site, okay, constantly. Uh, for example, I've got a free bonuses page that my subscribers can get things on that others pay for, okay. And, and I just write out, you know, once a month and just say, I'm grateful, uh, you know, thank you for being part of the family. You know, I've updated the uh, freebie list. Um, you know, here's the link if you want it. 
so it's just a way of tying people in and it's a way of keeping in touch uh, with your clients. And if you're sending uh, mailings out, uh, you know, make sure that you get the balance correct in that you're probably doing four or five to one content based and one uh, sales uh, based uh, email. So it's, it's all about, you know, not wanting people to, to unsubscribe and uh, to get recommended to other people. Once you are known, liked and trusted, then you can begin to introduce your product, okay? Uh, and that means then that you improve uh, your dollar uh, received per customer. You know, if you treat customers right, uh, right, and uh, you know you provided value to them, in, maybe in something that that you suggested worked, uh, then they'll buy more stuff. Uh, not only low end stuff, but high end stuff too. And and soon, by you doing the simple things, you know that's the key. If you do the basics, if you get the fundamentals right, then everything else will follow. Okay, and if you do those things right, then you'll find that your earnings per customer will improve from the target one dollar per subscriber per month to many dollars more per month. Hmm. I like that little uh, that little twist. Okay, these guys. I've already mentioned these uh, on the previous uh, slides. These are free sites you can put your products on. Okay, not only that, they are the places where people are at. Okay, so you've, if you haven't got a large list, then this is the place to hang out. Okay, I just want to remind you every one of these on screen is free. Soon you build social engagement, okay, and then you can offer your products there and then people will know, like and trust you and take them. In Facebook for example, always use your fan pages on your business page. Okay, um, and also, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there is an Aweber sign-up uh, form available that you can put onto your Facebook page. Now, I've got both of those. Uh, and basically what I do is that I get people to come to my Facebook page which is JoeFizcom <clears throat> and basically um, my uh, model bribe is a copy of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, they click like, they get then uh, into the page where they can uh, give me their name and email address and then they send the PDF. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is that you know I put in uh, a model bribe in there, I put in an ebook in there, uh, and people can just go onto the AWeber sign up form uh, and then they basically get directed to the ebook. Okay, so these are low hanging fruit areas for your product. Okay, so you can put these things into places whereby people are going to be, and you can join groups in Facebook. Okay, you can control your friendships. I'm, I'm quite keen in Facebook not to take any friends. I only take friends who are in the internet marketing arena. And when I say arena, you know, that could be social media, um, you know, web design, uh, etc. You know, the full gambit uh, of internet marketing. Because Facebook only allows you to have 5,000 friends. And you think, well, 5,000 friends, uh, you know, that's incredible. I probably get, um, I probably get something between, well, it varies, but I would say anything between 10 and 50 friend requests a day. Uh, so if you accepted every one of those, you'd soon get up to the 5,000 mark. And then the sad thing is, is that you probably get two-thirds of those who are people who just roam in the web and, and they're not actual buyers you know um, you know let's be honest about it I get a number of people uh, in, you know ladies from the Far East looking to build friendships you know I'm not interested in building friendships or looking for love you know I'm there to to uh, engage uh, the business uh, and the Jofis brand uh, and myself you know and all of those things uh, come as one so I'm certainly not interested in, in building friendships uh, you, you know with people who are not in the internet marketing arena and, and I've got to say my social media strategy works really well okay 
if you've got the pen and paper uh, handy, I get uh, them ready to write these down. Okay. When creating your product, start by identifying the need a customer has. Look at ways of satisfying those needs with effective solutions or avoid the results they don't want. Okay, so for example, if you've got a scenario in internet marketing and the, the problem is building a list, okay, how could you satisfy uh, and help that customer build a list? Okay, so ideas to come up with to help them. Actively get readers to take small steps to achievement after each chapter or video play. Why? Well, because of the informo information overload uh, dictates that they normally don't. Okay, and according to Napoleon Hill, 98% of people don't take action after reading things. Okay, so finally, imagine the impact on your reputation by getting a positive result. And that means if you've suggested something to somebody and you've told them to do it a certain way and it works, you will be credited for that success. Branding yourself is really important. I've already mentioned this uh, on the webinar. Okay, If you want to get the benefit from future work right now, then start your work right now. The Chinese say the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. It will also set you aside from other marketers who are less memorable. And remember the first slides that I said with the level of competition coming into uh, internet marketing at the moment, you really need to stand yourself aside from those people. So branding is vital for your success. Always give the reader or listener the opportunity to get more from you at the end of an ebook or video. Okay, at least an opportunity to join the family. I am still amazed to find no call to actions at the end of ebooks, not even directions to a blog site where you can stay in touch. I mean, that is, well, that's just internet marketing suicide. You've gone to all of that effort. Uh, to deliver good content, good training, and then you miss an opportunity, a hook, if you like, to get them on board for future stuff. Okay, so if they've read through an ebook and then they think, yeah, I really read this guy, then they're going to follow what you say. And, and so that is a really important point. Don't forget to give your details at the end of an ebook or video. So those are the four points I wanted you to uh, write down. Okay, it's almost the end of the webinar now. Uh, I hopefully have covered uh, some useful ground uh, for you. I mentioned my wonderful bonus earlier, and for the people on this webinar today, okay, I want to give you a productivity planner, which I created to manage my projects. I, I basically created it because when I was building, uh, you know, my uh, membership sites there was just so much to do and 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 I've got an A4 book and it just it just wasn't uh, good enough it wasn't sort of um, structured enough to deal with the number of elements I had to do on a daily basis so I created a productivity planner um, to, to manage those projects and because Earl Nightingale once said I never mastered time management no one manages time Time cannot be managed. I merely manage activities. Okay, so to that end, I use my productivity planner to manage my activities to get my membership sites built. Okay, the productivity planner is split into three sections. The first section is projects. It's for project number one, project number two, project number three. And underneath those headings, you've got five things that you must do to move this project forward today. Okay, so you list those in priority order. Underneath that, the middle section is a priority list. And then basically, you've got five things that must be done today, no matter what. Okay, 
and, and basically those are there to remind you to do the tasks that are likely to take you closer to your goals. And the final section is the people section and there's two elements to this. Number one, the people that I need to contact today okay, and the people that I'm waiting on. And these are people who you need to connect with okay, to move your projects forward. Uh, and you can have three projects on you at any one time. Now, if I'm completely honest, at one time I had two of these going because there was so much uh, on the go. Uh, and it's really good because it's one sheet of paper. And uh, it, it's very, very useful uh, indeed. Um, as I said, it does give you focus. The link, if you want to have this uh, productivity planner, is joefizz.com forward slash resources dash you dash need forward slash three dash productivity dash planner now you know that's it that's quite a mouthful there I mean if you want to pop over to joefizz.com uh, and help yourself to anything you want in the resources you need section okay I, I try and give away as much as I can <coughs> to deliver value to people when they come to the site, but <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so basically, that's my gift to you uh, for uh, staying on to the end of the webinar. But it will help you deliver focus and success when you create your uh, your plans. Okay. Um, Thanks again, folks. I appreciate that you've taken time out of your busy schedules to be here today. And I really hope that uh, you know, you've know you learned something uh, tangible. Um, the purpose was to show you where to find products that are simple and easy to get you going. So take inspired action. The universe loves speed. The link's coming up again. Uh, if you missed it on the first page, but as I said, come to joefizz.com anyway and the resources you need uh, file uh, is there and you can help yourself to anything you want. Uh, Dan, that's it. I appreciate you um, allowing me uh, the time to present to your subscribers. That was fantastic, Joe. And I actually took some notes and, um, and I actually made a call to action for myself because uh, you had a couple of things that I need to work on and I'll kind of recap what I got out of it. Uh, one, the WSO, I've been thinking about it for a long time and I finally made a commitment here to do that. And then the other one is yeah. uh, Kindle. I've never done it, but I love yeah. the tip about the Kindle Select. I've heard a little bit about it. And actually, you helped me understand it a little better, especially the numbers you shared. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people might overlook, but you actually shared some yes. really good numbers. So yes. I want to thank you for that. And um, would you mind taking a few questions? Um, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, one uh, question is, um, I noticed a lot of, you know, you mentioned Napoleon Hill said that 98% of the people don't take action after reading it. And, uh, and that yeah. always boggles me because, uh, anyway, I was born in a communist country where you weren't allowed to take action. So then when I came to America, wow. uh, to me, it was kind of weird. Yeah. You're allowed to take action, but people yeah. don't. What do you think are some of the concerns yeah. why people, you know, after hearing you, because you have a lot of actionable items here, what do you think are some of the reasons people mm. won't take action after hearing this and what can you say to help them? That is a brilliant question. Um, I feel the number one uh, problem uh, that people have is uh, information overload. And, and that is basically around trying to do too much. Okay, so they'll read these points and think, yeah, great, 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 fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And all they actually do is learn and not take action. Okay, um, it, it's, it really is about, don't get me wrong, we've all been at the informational overload stage and we've all been down rabbit holes. Um, but there does come a time where you think, right, enough learning, it's now about taking action. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm flabbergasted with uh, finding out what Napoleon Hill said, but it's absolutely true. Uh, I've, I've read Think and Grow Rich, and, you know, what he says in, in that book is, you know, there are uh, you know, seven, eight uh, uh, ways to make you money, 
over 350 pages and you know there's a lot of things to do you know there's a lot of actions to take and and um, uh, you know there's a lot of um, dedication to to put forward so people I think might just think that they can't be bothered uh, you know or secondly they might not think that they're capable which is not true because you know for my part um, you know in internet marketing as I said to you on my uh, on my slides couldn't be more in contrast with banking and you know if I can crack it anybody can crack it I think that's that's a great uh, you know advice and um, I, I guess you know it's it's that first hardest step and uh, for me I'll tell yeah. you um, I think what you hit here really good in this presentation he says you know get that one opt-in you know get one today you know like if you're getting four you're doing fantastic I think when I saw the first opt-in in my first $47 sale uh, I became a believer yeah. because before that it was just information yeah. from a seminar you know just like this one you know you're doing a yeah. webinar I went I mean my first exposure was a live seminar and uh, I really didn't believe it, but I, I, I suspended my disbelief and I said, you know what, I'll give it a go. And then I got an opt-in. Then later I got another opt-in and another one. Then I got a sale. It's like, yeah. holy moly, it works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. And the thing is, is that, you know, I, I think internet marketing comes with a reputation that it's it's too good to be true. And, and, and I think there is probably an element of people, uh, you know, beefing up their sales. but. That's fine. You know, there'll always be people around in the world who 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 uh, beef things up. But you know, I'm offline um, part of my business, and you know, part of part of what I do is is work through the people who you can't trust, really. But you know, it's in every walk of life, and and I think the um, uh, you know, I think it's about uh, being focused. Uh, you know, one of the things I talk about in in, uh, in No List, No Idea, which is my newbie site, is is providing you know the right foundations because without the right foundations you know any business is likely to fail because you know what you're looking to do um, is to build a, a you know a long-term business and you've got to put those foundations underneath it to make sure that you you know for example if you build a skyscraper then it's got to have deep foundations and I think you know people are either don't do those foundations. They hop into internet marketing and 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 they don't uh, they don't do uh, you know the right work uh, to keep them there for a long time. The other thing is they do they hop between uh, products. Uh, you know they jump around uh, uh, trying to find the the next shiny uh, object. And what they should be doing is focusing on one thing uh, until it works or until it not works. Uh, that way they know that they've done their best in trying to get it sorted but going back to what I said earlier it's it's all about taking action I, I think newbies uh, I, I bet you a lot of them just just sit back uh, and kind of think that it'll happen and um, you've got to take you've got to take inspired action massive action uh, to try and get, uh, you know, particularly in this level of competition that there is, you've got to take inspired action to get you ahead of the crowd. And uh, and you know, it, it is also. I remember uh, I um, I used to be afraid uh, from the government, and when I was in um, uh, school, I would uh, secretly I had to kind mm. of change the letters and I develop code, and I used to love to write my thoughts down, but I was always afraid that they would arrest me because they arrested my father. And then I know a lot of people who got arrested wow. from, you know, just saying the wrong thing that you're not supposed to. So I would write things down every wow. day, maybe a paragraph or two or three, you know, as a kid. And I would write them down and I had to secretly write them. And I wasn't afraid the government would find a notebook, but one of my friends would turn me in. Uh, but I, that's how I kind of developed yeah. that. Well, now I can just write it online and not care that I'll get arrested. So yeah. to me, it's just amazing, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I, I yeah. just think of it as, yeah. a, as an incredible wow. Uh, privilege that we have that we can do all of us and uh, only unfortunately yes. one percent of the people or less are doing it so it's an incredible opportunity yes. to get on the ground floor and I think there's a really good foundation just from this one little training mm -hmm. but there's obviously a lot more and I would recommend you go to joefiz.com or go to his other yeah. websites get on this yeah. list learn from him yeah. And, yeah. and then start giving your own contribution and you know giving your thoughts so 
Anyway, I wanted to thank you, Joe. Um, everybody who's listening to this webinar, Pleasure. go to joefizz.com and go to the link for the resources. Get on his list. Uh, and, and later when you become an expert, you know, you, you might get to know him. He's going to start doing live events. He does webinars. Who knows? One day maybe you interview him mm -hmm. or he interviews you. There's a lot of stuff that will happen online. I think you know, we just got to embrace it and take yeah. advantage of it. So, Joe, thank you. And if you have any final thoughts, um, I'll, let, I'll let you close the webinar. Yeah. You, you know, what I want to say to you guys is that uh, uh, genuinely, you, you know, um, the only trait that I've ever had, uh, and that was uh, taught to me by my family, was to work hard. Now, you know, everything else about creativity, uh, you know, the skills around marketing, uh, and the skills around uh, technical stuff, you know, all of that doesn't matter. Uh, it's, it's, you know, yes, I still work too hard uh, in that regard, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I think that's what happens. You know, if you do something that you love, okay, and, uh, you know, and if, you, if you're actually, perhaps if I'd be a bit controversial here, if you're doing something that you don't love, get out of it and just do something that you love because the universe will reward you. And uh, this is something that I'm passionate about and, uh, you know, I just I've loved my two and a half years today. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you, Joe, for taking the time and thank you, um, everybody who took the time to um, listen and learn from this webinar. And uh, like Joe said, go take action. Be that 2% who takes action. And then, you yeah. know, when we get some results, uh, email or post a comment on Joe's or my website. Uh, we'd love to hear back. I love reading those. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Goodbye. Pleasure.